Uh, for me, the creativity is the process of making uh, artwork. Um, it also manifests in many other things, including music. Uh, jazz is one of my inspirations for improvisations, and um, so a lot of my work uh, comes out of uh, um, envisioning things as opposed to drawing. My sources of inspiration are uh, and have been travel as well as uh, social justice. And so um, I've explored uh, through travel uh, various places such as uh, West Africa, uh, Europe, uh, Central and South America, and found um, in all of those, including the Native uh, American uh, communities here in the United States, uh, um, spiritual growth uh, and, and exploration. And so my travels have been to uh, soak up the cultures and then once I return, allow that to uh, uh, come out in a subconscious way. Um, my approach is generally to work in series. Um, uh, Charles White was one of my instructors and sort of gave me a hard time for jumping all over the place. And uh, he said, Alonzo, you need to work in a series, exhaust a thought. And so that has been something that's carried through my work since, I guess, since about 1970. So um, I push that all the way with uh, my approach to each series I get involved with. Um, I've enjoyed exploring materials. I'm a multimedia artist, um, not limited to any one material. Um, uh, my current work involves the use of uh, bamboo as well as uh, painted surfaces and LED light. My uh, first ex exploration with light uh, came through Neon in California and um, um, later found that uh, the LED was, one, cheaper, um, burn less electricity, and I can use it as an uh, atmospheric light as opposed to an a intentional uh, direct light. So it sets off uh, a kind of an ambient feeling in the work. Installations are, are um, an opportunity that I don't get to do that often. Um, but in reflecting on installations, um, I did a medicine wheel for Memphis, which had to do with uh, Memphis, Tennessee being uh, the site of uh, the garbage workers' strike and uh, uh, Martin Luther King and uh, that whole community needing um, a healing process. And so I, I explored using kind of a Native American theme uh, to um, uh, do a, a work that involved arrows and rocks and in the middle of a, a real large space. Theme-wise, um, one of my more recent projects has been um, uh, issues related to gun violence. And uh, uh, so I've done a social justice project that was funded to uh, raise consciousness of uh, police uh, violence against African Americans as well as uh, U.S. citizens. Um, I also like to explore cultural uh, uh, communities and uh, what they bring to the table. So the uh, Pacific Rim has been an area that I've uh, uh, explored through uh, a, uh, an opportunity I had in Hawaii with the East-West Center. 
Well, right now I'm working on a series involving uh, reconfiguring uh, um, windsurf sails uh, and, uh, and, and, and bamboo. Um, and that uh, also involves some light, but it's also a consciousness-raising series of pieces um, called Navigating Climate Change. So again, um, it's, um, it's a work of art, but it also reflects back on our culture and times. And my advice to uh, people that are interested in the arts is um, to explore left brain, right brain thinking, and um, uh, to uh, have a willingness to think outside of the box. Uh, also, uh, to explore not only the classroom learning, but uh, to engage with mentors uh, and people who, whose work you respect and uh, connect with.